Okay, now we are going to solve practice problem 3.4 from Sadiku book and the question is find V1, V2, and V3 in the circuit of this figure using nodal analysis. So V1, V2, and V3 is the node voltage. This one, this one, and this one uh, relative to the ground. So the voltage here will be zero and V1 is relative to this ground node. V2 is also relative to this ground node and V3 also relative to this ground node. Okay, first I will assume the direction of the current. So I will assume this current will going down, this current also going down. And in this resistor, the current will going to the right. And that's my assumption. And now let's start the analysis. So we have two voltage source here. 25 volt and this dependent voltage source that depends on this current 5i and because we cannot find the the current here directly and this also cannot we cannot also find the current here so i will treat this as a super node so this v1 v2 and v3 is a really big node so all of this is a super node so we treat this as one single node so the current that goes in to the this super node is equal to the current that goes out from this super node okay let's do the analysis from that assumption so KCL at the super node okay the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out here we have one current that goes into this super node which is this node which is this current this going here goes inside but this current also goes outside so that will cancel each other so we don't need to care about this current so only three current that goes out so we will have the current that goes in there is no current that goes in only one but that's cancel with the current that goes out so zero is the current that goes in and then the current that goes out is first this one i which is equal to v1 divided by 2 according to ohm's law and then plus this current here which is equal to v2 divided by 4 and then this current here which is v3 divided by 3 so we have this first equation here and we can multiply all of this by 12 so we can get the fraction away so we will have 6 v1 plus 3 v2 plus then this 4 v3 and that will equal to 0 okay let's save this as equation number one so we will have this equation as equation number one we have three variables here so we need two more equations and how to get two more equation now take a look at this at this voltage source so by definition of voltage source the difference between v1 and v2 is the value of the voltage source so we will have at the 25 voltage source 25 volt voltage source We will have that V1 minus V2. V1 minus V2 is equal to the value of the voltage source. So this is equation number two. And we need one more equation to solve this. Let's see the other voltage source. We have dependent voltage source here. And the plus sign is here, so V3 
V3 minus V2 is equal to the value of this dependent voltage source. Okay, let's rewrite. Let's write that. Add dependent voltage source. Okay, at dependent voltage source, we will have V3 minus V2 that will equal to 5i. And i can be calculated using Ohm's law because i is here. So we will have V3 minus V2 is equal to 5 multiplied by V1 over 2. So now we can multiply both sides by 2. So we will have 2V3 minus 2V2 is equal to 5V1. Now let's move all to the right hand side. So we will have 5V1 plus 2V2 minus 2V3 is equal to 0. Okay, let's save this as equation number 3. And we can rewrite equation number 1, number 2, and number 3 as a matrix here, as a system of linear equations. So we will have 6, 3, and 4. And then this will be 1, minus 1, and 0. And this will be 5, 2, and minus 2, multiplied by v1, v2, and v3 that will equal to 0, 25, and 0. So we will have 0, 25, and 0. Okay, so I will not, I will not solve this manually, but I will give this to MATLAB and let's see the result. Okay, I will clean the board and I will write the result for you. So after plugging these equations into MATLAB, I got V1. V1 is the voltage here is equal to 7.6087 volt. And then V2. V2 is minus 17.6087. 3, 9, 13, 4, and the last one, V3, is equal to 1.6304. And this is the node voltages of the circuits, and this is our final answer. Let me know if you find any mistakes in my calculation in the comment. Then thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.